Well, Jeff, this is a fabulous car, and I got I got a soft spot in my heart for Falcons. My wife's got a, a '63 uh, Futura convertible uh -huh. herself, but you know it doesn't look anything like this one. You know? No, I mean. It this one didn't look like this either three years ago. <laughs> well, you know, uh, not only is it uh, a Falcon, which is cool, but it's a Falcon wagon and a Squire wagon. It's that, right, right? Yeah. very rare car. Yeah, when I saw this Falcon Squire wagon, I knew that's what I wanted to spend my time on. It took <sighs> convincing my father that that's what we needed to spend it on, but well, that, it's that, unique and it has oh, body absolutely. lines like none other. Well, the first gen Falcons, I just think are, they're, they're beautiful cars, yeah. they're happy little cars, yeah. you know, and the wagon, you don't see them, they're rare. No, you don't see them at all. Wow. There was a few made, I looked it up and it was 2000 something. But, but not many, eh? But not many squires and how many are crushed and how many are still running well, around. Not, yeah, <laughs> not many running not around. Not many, sure. no. Well, this is a, you know, wild color, and, and I, I almost hate to admit it, but I, for a while, in college I drove a 72 uh, Maverick mm -hmm. that had almost the same color. Yeah, is, I, it this, is it that color? No, it's not that color. And I remember that color. It was a little darker than this, but this is a custom mix that I spent a lot of time spraying a lot of tabs. Um, we worked it down to six large realtor signs, <laughs> and finally at looking at every angle and deciding, I said, that's it. So it's That's It Green. <laughs> so you, you named it. It's yeah. That's It Green. Yep, I'm done. That well, was what I wanted. You know, it's wild, um, but, it, but it looks really good on this car. It matches the car. Especially with the with wood. With the wood, yeah. That was the whole idea. Color yeah. combination is everything. Now the wood is is uh, airbrushed or well, it's airbrushed. Um, the actual they're all factory moldings. Yeah. Um, the original at wood was stickers. You had a sticker on this molding, a sticker on the car. Oh, okay. Um, no gloss. Um, this is all uh, airbrushed on. We spray a, a color that's about that light, just a yeah. light color on both. And you put all your browns and your airbrushes on. And then you put on your candies and you clear it. Man, fabulous, fabulous. Now, I mean, did you and you built this car, yeah. right? Yeah. We did everything. I did everything but the actual airbrushing of the wood grain and the upholstery. And speaking of the upholstery, man, that is some interior. Yeah, it's it's a great job. JNS upholstery from his name's Justin, and he's 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 the it, best in Utah. It, it, so it's done right here in Utah. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. Is that kind of like a leather weave, like well, a leather belt yeah. weave or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a it's a leather basket weave. Uh -huh. um, and just it was Justin's idea to use that. We loved it when we saw it. Um, he gave us several choices, and this is the one we picked to use. I thought it went best with the color combination. Now that's a that's a much more heavily padded dash than stock, too. Yeah, there's a there's a stock padded dash under that, and then we went ahead and covered that in leather. Justin did that, so it gives it a much fuller, finished yeah. appearance. Now, how about I mean, how about the glove box area? Is that is that the, stock the glove too? box area is actually stock, but from the glove really? box to this side is completely redone. Um, it looks stock. But there's no radio hole, no ashtray hole. Um, all the light switches used to be on that side. Uh -huh. They're now on this side. Right. Um, the right. key used to be on this side. It's now on that side. And then we use the stock bezel and put all those custom gauges in the bezel. Well, it's interesting because with the extra padding and with the wood grain, that dish over there on the glove box, it, I, I, it magnifies it, it. Oh, it does. Yeah. It's really great. And you did really use the stock up. bezel. I mean, that still yeah, looks like a 63 Yeah, exactly. The whole idea of this car is to look stock. Nobody should know what I did, but we did a lot. Well, yeah, and, and you kept that basket weave uh, up into the headliner yeah, the too. headliner yeah that was that was Justin's idea he wanted to put something in the headliner and we saw the drawing and said do it originally it was supposed to be a surfboard but I'm not a surfer well you don't surf much in Utah no, not much you no. know, we surf snow here yeah, yeah. they don't look like that no, so no. <laughs> Oh, but I love it. I, I, and, and you got uh, video screens yeah, right there DVD and in the back too yeah, here. In the back screens, we got them. It's a DVD player. You can put your iPod on it. You can put your MP3 player on it. Um, it's a GPS. We put in a GPS wow. module. Wow. Wow. I'm just, I mean, what a beautiful interior. Fabulous. And, and you kept the, the curved glass back yeah, the here. The actual you know? shape of the body on the outside hasn't changed. Just little touches with the interior. The hole underneath is completely redone with a full frame, full suspension. Man, and, and now you cut uh, your exhaust through the bumper? Yeah, the bumper's a lot of work in that bumper. I bet. Um, these ends have been added because there was an open end. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been shortened three quarters of an inch. It's been cut with the uh, tailpipes and the bumpers, have, the, all the bolts have been welded in. Holy cow. And, and those are stock taillights. Yeah, stock taillights. Oh, cool, man. Yep. Now, oh, yeah, let's see, uh, you might have the, the high end engine. In 63 was the 260 V8. Yeah, it had, had it had a 260 uh, two-speed automatic when we got it. But it was blown, and we decided to put in a Jack Roush motor. <laughs> so you weren't messing around? No, it's oh. 527 horsepower and 550 foot-pounds of torque. Man, what's the, that's a, that's an injection system, yeah, right? Yeah, it's all fuel injected. It looks like Weber carbs, it does? but it's fuel injected. But there, and there's a rail and... Yep. Oh, man. And you've got a, what, a chromed out battery box? Well, basically, that's just a battery box anybody can buy from Summit. We bought that battery box. Um, I had to make it fit. That, yeah. That's all modified to fit. The, the whole radio support's modified to fit. All the sheet metal is completely different than stock, but it looks stock. I didn't want the straight, smooth, no, custom it, look. I no, want it I stock. Love, I just love this. Now, I mean, 
And you've lowered it down and everything too. Oh yeah, it's right? air ride suspension. It's got uh, shock waves. Oh yeah, right, right, shock right. waves on it. So right now, it looks like you put it in, and we dropped it down. So this is the park position. Uh huh. This is it. Yeah, I'm this cool. is it. I'm, yeah, I'm just really, it. really cool. Comes up two inches, and that's the drive position. Uh huh. Comes up two more inches, and that's the curb, the gutter, and the trailer position. Wow. Now, I mean, it's such a stunning car. It's a show car. Can you drive it? Do you drive it? Oh yeah, it? we drove it here. You're kidding. No, we drove it here. <laughs> I love yeah, it, that. It runs good. You, <laughs> oh man. You hit the gas, and it just flies. And it flies. Oh, Flat it out flies. flies. It is one mean green machine. Thank and you. what was it? That was it? That's, it, that's green? it green? That's it green. Well, this is it for me. Thanks. <laughs> Beautiful car, Jeff. Wow. Appreciate it.